Hello and welcome to another Albion Online Dev Talk. Today I want to introduce Albion's upcoming content patch, which we've named Nightfall. This patch was developed by parts of the team whilst we were managing the launch of Albion East and focuses on expanding the content introduced in Beyond the Veil. Note, this is not Albion's next major update, merely a patch, but it still packs quite a punch. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the Mists, where you can find three new opportunities while playing there. First, we've added caches to mob camps, which are a new type of treasure chest that unlocks personal rewards for every player when they complete the objective. Next, you'll also be able to find treasure coffers scattered around the mists, which are exactly like open world treasures with one exception. They only reveal their location to players that are nearby, hopefully leading to new opportunities and smaller scale conflicts than the regular treasure chests. Finally, you may also find a mysterious new type of entrance while exploring, which will lead you to an all new dungeon called Nightfall Abbey. And that will be covered in a dev talk coming soon. Besides the mists, the roads of Avalon have seen further improvements too. Elite camps have been rebalanced completely, making them much more playable for groups of five to seven players, and rewards have been adjusted to make them an appealing target for such groups. Additionally, we've made some changes to make playing and living in the roads more attractive. The cost of traveling back to Brazilian from the roads has been cut in half, more off-road paths have been added in areas that had few of them and density of roaming mobs has been increased in areas where they were sparse. We've also introduced new upgrade levels of Avalonian mages and archers, which increase the variety of mobs encountered in the roads. Hideouts in the roads can now be declared an HQ, even if your guild no longer has any boosters available, allowing for easier relocation if you want to change the location of your hideout in the roads. Finally, the distribution of power cores in the roads has been adjusted to focus conflict on raid regions. In Brazilian, city founder Aralia Wayfarer has returned from an expedition to the mists and is willing to trade some of her items to those that have earned her respect in exchange for favor. At her shop, you can acquire ingredients for the all new Brazilian capes, which come in a beautiful mist inspired design and emit a temporary protective shield when you activate one of your helmet slot abilities. She also sells special eggs, which can be hatched to grow into a mystic owl or an elite mystic owl mount. Owls have reduced load capacity, but reach very high speeds. The elite mystic owl also has a special glide ability, which allows it to fly up, becoming unhittable for a short moment and then glide back to the ground in a target direction. To be able to purchase any of these rewards, you will need to have the appropriate level of standing with the city of Brazilian. As a prestigious reward for veteran mists players, players who reach a very high standing will be able to purchase a special Wanderer in the Mists avatar and avatar ring from Eralia. Also newly introduced in this patch are the Avalonian Capes, the ingredients for which can be acquired at the Energy Manipulator in Conqueror's Hall. This powerful cape triggers when you engage a target with one of your auto attacks, and after a short charge up releases a damage debuffing energy explosion hitting enemies around you. The Nightfall patch also comes with a number of quality of life improvements. There is an option to enable a transparent travel mode map display. Items can now be repaired directly at the marketplace before sale. Character customization options now use a graphical preview and players have the ability to change their character's gender at the cost of a little gold. Selected target highlighting is improved and off-screen characters can now be selected by clicking on their name tag. Directional movement can now be bound to hotkeys so players can set up their own WASD control scheme. Mobile and gamepad controls also receive a vast number of improvements and customization options, including options for target locking and prioritization, improved auto-targeting and many others. Additionally, there are graphical improvements like new spell icons for dagger and quarterstaff weapon lines. 
Finally, of course, a large number of balance adjustments shake up the combat meta and aim to increase viability of lesser used items like the Infernal Staffs and the Bridgewatch Cape, whilst toning down some overused items. The Nightfall patch is on test servers right now, where you can check out all of these changes yourself. We're looking forward to your feedback and hope you join us in the next Dev Talk as we explore the secrets of the mysterious Nightfall Abbey.